Hey everybody, it's your boy Nostalgia Scout coming to you guys with a brand new Let's Play to replay Yo to replace Yoshi's Island. Um, pardon me for the Barry Jaggers down there um, around at us, but this is not the intended game I wanted to play. But I kind of have to because guess what? The game I wanted to play for you guys has an issue with the emulator. I've tried multiple emulators, so I gotta go and find another ROM. But at the time being, I need to up uh, to record something for you guys today. So I'm like, well, well, let's do Donkey Kong Country 3 for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. And that is my live stream file, so ignore that. And let's do single player being... Uh, we'll just name ourselves NS, like Nova Scotia. I'm also installing all of the Call of Duty... Uh, Black Ops 2 map packs onto my PlayStation 3 right now. So you guys will see that on my Call of Duty channel. So Funky's Rentals. Yo, Dixie, what's happening? I set up my smoking new boat shop on this island, but that's not all. I've also brought your excellent cousin Kitty Kong along for the ride. He may be a toddler, but if you let him throw you upwards, you'll almost reach the stars. Ooh, yeah! And, if you throw his humongous body, he can smash to the floor of some areas, trust me! Oh my god, childhood obesity, man. Childhood obesity. That's not something you should laugh at, but still, come on. Anyways, we have secrets, banana birds, a bounty beach. So you found one of the secret banana bird caves. To release the imprisoned bird, you must watch the sequence of flights and then repeat it exactly using the directions on the control pad. It seems like a waste of time to me. Why can't these game developers come up with something more interesting? I actually have no clue. Red, green, red. That's easy enough. And hang on, our install is complete, so now I'm going to download Uprising. Bruh. Alright, perfect. And now... Oh, this one's only like 1.3 gigs. It's only gonna take less than 20 minutes. So anyways, let's go to Rick... Rake. Rake, it's the Rake! Lake Orangutanga and go to Lakeside limba -bo -bo. <laughs> Now, switch into Kitty by pressing Select to get up here. You can roll by pushing B. You can jump by pressing A. And while walking... Hold down the uh, B button to run. Amazing. That actually tells you to push R here. I didn't know that's actually what it meant as a kid. Like, it's like, oh, just push the button. Well, ta-da. Bonus. This will be a 100% playthrough, though. So, collect 50 stars. Seems like a lot of stars for the very first bonus, but I'm fine with it. Yeah, then you collect bonus coins in this game. Donkey Kong Country 1, there were no bonus things at all, no DK coin. Second game, collected DK coins and creme coins. This game, you collect DK coins and bonus coins. Oh, and uh, that enemy is called Coin. He gives you your DK coin. I absolutely hate Funky's uh, missions in this game, so those will probably be towards the end of the Let's Play, just because I despise them with an absolute passion. If you time it right, Kitty can also roll on the water and jump. Ah, uh, you need to use that ability in some stages. I think it's like once or twice in the entire game. So, it's not like it's a huge ability, but it is helpful. I love the music here, and I do love the background. Like, look at that. It's like the most beautiful Canadian lakeside I have ever seen. This is the Northern Cremisphere. So, it is actually loosely based on the Northern United States, and... Uh, like, Mount Fuji in Canada. That's where they actually got their, um, motivation from. I actually really like it. And there we go. Another bonus bites the dust. Another one gone. Another one gone. Another bonus bites the dust. Okay. New animal buddy. Ellie the Elephant replaces Rambi. Of, like, the other Donkey Kong Country games. Instead of adding, they get rid of, you know? Well, they actually do, I believe, add. Actually, no. They always remove animal buddies and replace them with different ones. And goodies. Just jump on this. If you have a full flag, it means you got all the bonuses. And then when you exit out of the level, if it has a little yellow flag, that means you've gotten uh, the DK coin. Now, level two. Doorstop dash. 
This level's decent, I guess. Like it's, I'm not really a huge fan of the mill levels. Like, look at the background, too. The background just looks terrible. Like, it just, I don't know. I found these levels to be eh, meh design. They're actually better in Donkey Kong Land 3, in my personal opinion. They're actually more fun. But can't always get what we want. Oh, you actually have to be Dixie for this one, because you need to be able to fly over here. Oh, free one up, and not only a one up, but a bonus. You could actually get trapped in there. <laughs> if you know you don't actually. Well, let's not collect all these ones first, because we do need to go back there for the coin, so. Let me grab all those, and I can still make it through. Uh, don't hit the door again, Dixie. And whoever completes the most levels in a given world, but then gets their color flag for the entire world once you beat it. So, like. Dixie beat like four to five levels, then she would get the uh, world flag, and vice versa if Kitty did. Even if like you know the boss fight was beaten by the other Kong. Yes, there is a world boss per every world, you know. A lot of them are pretty straightforward, and some of them are just weird in this game, like craziness. That was easy. Usually you have to do that twice, but not today. Woohoo! Goodbye, sir. This, this looks suspicious. There's not bananas leading to this way. It must be the bonus. Yeah, we haven't found coin yet. Oh, this one's easy if you use Dixie. Like, really easy. Huh. That one's actually a little bit of a challenge if you use Kitty. Like, just a little bit of a challenge, not much. But, uh. Okay, so we're gonna need those bear coins to buy stuff later on, and as for the um, bananas, they get you a 1-up if you collect 100. Same with if you collect all four DK, le or Kong letters, I should say DK letters. Donkey Kong's only in this game briefly. It's it's weird that out of all the Donkey Kong Country games, he's only in the original. Like, I think, like, it, damn it. It should have been, like, a different Kong instead of, like, Donkey Kong that gets kidnapped in 2 and 3. Because, like, it's like, oh, well, hey, guess what? It's, it's called Donkey Kong Country, but we don't really use Donkey Kong Country. Or Donkey Kong. Funny thing it. Oh. What the hell? We actually got him. Now there's a 2 up over here. Yeah, there it is. And nothing in there. So, let's just grab this. But, like,. Donkey Kong Country, but without Donkey Kong, so it, it, it's kind of weird that way, you know? Anyways, let's do Cranky's Dojo. Welcome to my training area! I'm fed up with you young whippersnappers having all the fun! Yeah, you're in Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze's playable character. So I'm improving my skills for the next big adventure in Cranky Kong Country. Never made. You can help me re You can help me train if you like, but I'm no charity. I need to raise cash to fund my new project, so I'm going to charge you for the privilege of training with a master. As it's early in the game, I'll let you train with me for just one of those stupid silver coins. The ones with the freaky bear's heads on. And now we just deflect critters using the D-pad. He's got a DK shield. You know what's funny? You can go to Cranky's Dojo in any world, and he'll charge you more than one coin. But you only need to do this once in the entire game, so just do it in the first world, and you're pretty much set. Like, you can do this as many times as you want for, like, lives and stuff, but... Why? You need those bear coins for other stuff, so no point. Once you get the banana bird, then you're done. Boop. 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 Boom! Oh! There we go! Training complete. Excellent skills! You managed to deflect all those spiky critters! You have completed the master's challenge! Take this bird! I'm sure it will come in useful! Somehow. Come in useful? Shouldn't it be like come in handy or something? Or become useful? I don't know. Seems weird. 17 lives after level 2. No kitty, go up this way. Now, there is another secret if you go over to this weird patch of trees. We have Smuggler's Cove in a lake. 
Green, blue, green. And done. I like how Kitty's like, hua, hua, hua. I can't remember if the cranky missions are worth a DK coin or if they're worth a um, banana bird. But whatever. Let's do Tidal Trouble. Now this is an interesting level because guess what? It's pretty much the same type of level that we dealt with before. But with slightly pushing currents and I need Dixie. Hang on a second. Notebook for Mac. I don't know why my computer sends me Mac advertisements, it's like clearly I am on a Windows laptop that likes to shut down all the time on me, but I am, so I don't know why they're displaying that for me. Very easy coin to get. I believe we also get introduced to our second animal buddy in the game in this level. Ah. These are... They're not clasp. Clasp are the climbing ones. I don't really remember what they are. Now, in guard, if you hold down R, you can charge up an attack and just go like this. Oh, those uh, cl gay-looking clownfish are called Coco. The gay clownfish, obviously. Collect, collect 30 stars, and that's uh, a lurchin, I believe. Like a lurking urchin. Uh, they'll show up a lot more in a later one. There we go, five budgeon bonus coins. And wow, that was a good use of a, an animal buddy to get one bonus. He didn't even actually need him to get into the bonus. Woo! Normally I'd get hit there because the kitty is terrible at maneuverability. Though I believe he actually does run faster and he does have a, I don't know. He does have a bigger hitbox though, which does get annoying. Now, actually, instead of, um, doing the whole roll thing like they intend you to do, just use Dixie. Oh, we'll do Bash the Baddies. Well, normally I don't fall through, but for some reason I did. Now I have to do is complete the level. That is, like, this is one of those levels that if you time everything right, it's really easy. Aha! A G for me and none for you. What if we get introduced? No, we actually don't get introduced to another animal buddy here. I don't remember if we did or not. But whatever. Anyways, let's go to the second last level before the boss. Skidda's Row. Hey, there's something behind my computer. Get out of here! Did you guys see that? It just decided to pop up during my recording. Now, this guy here is actually called Skidda. Though he's like your typical Kremlin, I don't believe you actually face them in the game. Which is funny. You only fight Skidda. And he slides on ice. That's just literally his gimmick. He slides on ice. Woo! Really easy to get bonus. I love the snow though, and I like the whole music concept on this. It's actually really nice. Dun, 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 dun. Don't know how I missed that and yeah, let's go skiing down the hill. Boom! Yo. I believe, yeah, see, this level is really short and really easy compared to pretty much any of them. Even the. Why didn't you jump, Dixie? Luckily, most of the time, the barrels will respawn for you. And bosses do not give you DK coins. Give you either an item to be useful, or they give you a bonus coin. Ah, oh, goddamn skittas. And there we go. Find the coin. Which this one should have been bash the baddies, honestly. But whatever, it's not. Man, I can't wait to get Black Ops, though, because that means I can record uh, Call of Duty not only on the new console, but the old consoles as well. Which makes it a lot easier for me to, you know, upload for you guys. Okay, on to the last level, Mercury Mill. We'll finish off this entire world in this episode. It's going to be less than 20 minutes if everything goes according to plan. The worst part is the next little mini-game that we got to do. We only got to do it once, but we have to do it. 
Now, this is an entire Ellie base level. Oh, and if she sees rats under these uh, lights, she'll actually run. And that guy's name is Recoil. Uh, he has a level named after him later on. Not yet, but later on. I believe in World World 3 or 4, or something like that. Might be World 2, but nah, it's not World 2. Hey, a 2 of Balloon. Plus, we just got another life by Bananas. That's just insane. Plus, we'll probably get one via, uh... God damn it. No! Don't you dare land on him. Probably get one via the, um... I don't know. Yeah, I think I got a text. Yeah, I do. Luckily, the game, the bonus game doesn't play until he actually starts. So anyways, bash the baddies. And there's a YouTuber out there named Ryan Bragg. Uh, he's part of the Much Games crew. I swear, every time he uploads um, Donkey Kong Country 3 on Much Games Guides, he always uses the bonus games as the thumbnail, and I don't know why. Also, I don't know why he never uses custom thumbnails. Like, even if you just put, like, number one, number two, it allows people to figure out the episode a lot easier. No, stop. Damn it. Well, here's coin. Really easy to get. Like, super easy. If you know how to, you know, like, angle stuff. So we did need to bring that barrel up. Oh, smart me. Wonder where the other bonus is. Actually, I generally know where most of them are. There's only like a level or two in the game where I actually have issues remembering, but I normally find it within like a minute or two, so it's not like a big issue. There's the N. There we go, perfect. Get, get, let me off, thank you. Oh, sweet. Ah, oh, I don't need it for here. Oh yeah, the bonus is right here, this is funny, it's like, perfect. Find the coin, let me guess, just jump? Oh, jump through bees. Man, watching Game Guy do this, oh man. Huh. He did bad on this bonus, he died like two or three times, I don't know why, like he's a good let's player. Oh. Hey Recoil, thank you, there's my uh, letters. Hey, cutie. And there we go. Hmm. <laughs> Now, let's do Swanky's Dash. Well, would you believe it? Hello, Kongs. Welcome to my all-new SciShow game. My show is on the road, and it's in every land. The cost of this game, two coins in the hand. There are some great prizes on offer today, so come on in and choose to play. Just do that, and you're away. So come on, Kongs, and have a go. You could well win. You never know. Uh, of course I'm going to give it a try. Yeah, you have to be Dixie. Now you literally just collect, I believe you have to collect nine, uh, 95 stars to 100. Oh, shit. I didn't realize that um, B actually made you duck. It's like, you don't use it because I believe these do get harder like in other worlds. Once again, it's one of these things that you only need to do once. This is actually the sewer music, or drain pipe music. It's not really sewer music. I don't think Donkey Kong's ever had like a uh, actual sewer level. Drain pipe level, not sewer, but. Those ones are really hard to get like that, though. Fuck. I don't think I did good enough. Oh, 91 out of 100. Okay, here I have this banana bird. Oh, I actually did do. I guess it's just 91 or above. And other goodies. Perfect. Anyways, let's go down to the boss. Belch's Barn. Now this boss, all you have to do is jump on these uh, barrels that he spits out of his mouth. Grab these bugs and throw them into his mouth. If you do it properly, you can do it in two hits. Or two burps, I guess. Not really hits. It can only move every time he shoots out a barrel. That's it. And there we go. We should actually beat him here. Joke of a boss. Boink, boink, boink. Yeah! Well done, young cones. That overgrown barrel will make good firewood. Off you go, then. 
You need to head for Kremlin Forest. Okay, so we got 100% on World 1, and in the next episode, we'll be going to World 2, Kremwood Forest. Like, comment, and subscribe. Nostalgia Scott, signing off.